These pictures show a portion of the bulldozed road along the South Hill Bluff that caused so much controversy. A Vista, the City Parks and Recreation Department, a golf organization called First Tee, and a company called Swedberg Contracting were all part of the project. Although no one took responsibility for authorizing the tree removal and creating the road, a settlement agreement was reached in a lawsuit filed by the Brocker family. They own part of the land that was bulldozed. In January, we learned the Spokane Parks Board approved an option for the city to buy 50 acres of land from the Brocker family for $270,000. As part of a settlement agreement, the city has until the end of this year to buy it. But the parks director told me they wanted to purchase it right away. That hasn't happened yet, though. The Parks Board plans to vote on the final resolution to purchase the land at a meeting on March 8th. But whether or not the city buys it, they're required to pay an option fee of $5,000. That money will go toward the cost of the land, but they don't get it back if they don't buy it. Ryan Yaney, the attorney for the Brocker family, released a statement saying the Brocker family is happy to move past this unfortunate situation that resulted in this lawsuit. Now, we are hopeful the city will make the right decision and exercise its option to buy the property for the benefit of its citizens. As for the other parties involved, Swedberg, the contractor, had to pay the Brocker family $75,000. First Tee had to pay $85,000. And Avista had to pay $20,000 for a grand total of $180,000. All parties signed the settlement agreement, but it still needs to be signed by the judge. I'm Lindsay Nadrich, Krem2 News. Hmm. Well,